Okay, so here is the long-awaited 3D box tutorial. Now, for this tutorial, you're gonna need six like movie clips or any old clips. So, start by dragging them all into the timeline. Like so. Then you're gonna want to place the audio tracks below the video tracks. This is important. Or it just makes it like easier to work with. Okay. Then you're gonna want to go up. Oh, but first going to need to go to the and set its aspect ratio to 1 1 this is very very important if you don't your cube will look like it, it was messed up so that looks wrong aspect ratio. um yeah so you have to do all those first Okay. So now that you've got that, you're gonna wanna click on that thing up there and then set these to 500 by 500. Non progressive scan and 1000 square or 1.0. This is very important. Now, make a new video track and click the down arrow to make all of those child tracks. Now you're going to want to select parent motion and it brings up track motion. You're going to want to size that down to 147.50. These dimensions are important. Next, you're going to want to select 3D source alpha on all of them. still want to go to the track motion of the first track and you're going to want to make sure that the Y and Z axes are locked and the X axis is unlocked. Also that box edit in object space has to be unchecked. That is very important. Now move it negative 500 pixels. Okay. Now you're going to want to set the X offset 250. Then just click that line and drag it a little and set that to 90. Okay, done with that side. Now for the next side, click that track motion. And then you're going to do the same thing, except you're going to do it in reverse. You're going to go forward 500 degrees. Okay, then you're going to want to set the x offset to negative 250. And you're going to set this to negative 90. That's another side of the box. Okay, here's where it gets hard. You're going to want to unlock the y axis and lock the z axis. Now drag it up 500. And make the Y offset negative 250. Then drag it down like that to 90. And you slip in the track motion. And make it negative 500. <coughs> make the Y offset. 50 and drag it up to negative 90. Okay, now we're almost done. Okay, to close the cube, you're gonna want to go to track motion and lock the y and x but not the z axis and go to the top view. Just drag that down and you'll see it makes the video bigger. You're gonna want to enter a negative 500. That way the cube is all closed up. 
So now if you want to see how you did, you'll select parent motion and you'll change the view to front. And you can see how you did on your cube. Now to animate this, I'll make it move. So yeah. You would animate it by using that track motion. So let's just say I do it like this. Oh yeah, might want to unlock the axes. I'll make it go there, like that. And then the next one. Uh, make it go down there like that. And for the next one, I'll do that. Like that. And I'll do. and you'll lose some subs. Now I'll do that for the last one. <coughs> and then you can see that more Yeah, so that's how you make a 3D cube. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you next time.